perfect. On the left hand side, lovely river. That looks like it's all over it. That's a shock. Her running away from it, do you, the world number two? Well, no ding then, but she still holds on to the lead, Atia Titikin. It's been a string of pars for the 19-year-old. Three miles per hour, which basically, with the uh, attack angle on her driver, as we just see her hit her approach shot to seven. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, just a tad short, but yeah, she's, she's gained nearly 30 yards off the tee. Beautiful approach putt. So I have to say, when you watch her, she's so calm, isn't she? She doesn't let anything, she doesn't get flustered at all. And, and actually, she just looks like she's really enjoying herself. She's out here for the first time. Oh, this is great. I'm out. Won practically everything back in Thailand as an amateur and also as a professional during COVID. She picked up five wins. Tugged it right. Yeah. Right of sleep putt on eight. Yep. Well, that's never missing. Oh, that's it. Very, very easy, straightforward birdie. It's an umpteen amounts and, and a winner at 14 years of age on the European Tour. And as we discussed earlier, it's probably not one of her best. It might be better off in the bunker. That's probably the best she could have hoped for. It'll have a decent lie there. Now, just gutted. It was great to have Chris join us for the first round and a half of the BMW Ladies <laughs> Championships because she's got off to have a little cry in the corner. But that's the first league drive. It's not very high. It sounded a bit thin, but thin to win. Yeah, that'll work. No harm done. Number one. Tittergill up the hill. A mm, little bit very non-linear. She was very disciplined. <laughs> so no problem. When got into trouble. Strong over the ball. The right hand side, is it too far right? No, it's perfect. Got a bit of roll on that owl as well. Got mm. a bit of oomph to that one. It's a huge advantage. Yeah, I mean, she's got 115 yards. She's got a wedge in her hand. She can go straight at it. You'd expect this to be no more than five feet. Mm, let's just release it. It pitched, it pitched within five feet. Players like Atia Titikan, rather than be intimidated by the great players, they're inspired by them these days. And yeah. they bring their game so they're ready to compete. Do it to yourself, Trish. You're going to be on Trish Watch <laughs> later. <laughs> you could do the night shift. <laughs> Thanks for that. And so I just need to avoid that. There is water lurking on the left. Uh, I don't think she's going to have to worry about anything there. That's absolutely smoked. Oh, yes, carries the bunker, gets a huge hop off there. And that is going to be a question about that. A lot of four wedges, but yeah, how are you... I think I think what's so important, do you see Titico hit a second shot in? Is she going to follow? Oh, yeah, another easy pin high. It's ha Maybe a little bit closer. She's couple of good looks but like you say not converting nearly as many that a, a classic example she's going how did that not break from that high side I think the important thing is just to keep playing as well it's 150 and, and plays like you said when you say 140 yeah Trish is playing 141 with the downhill oh, potentially 9 iron yeah She's it's all Kim's fan, so she's got that chip to come. Titikin's next out of the bunker. Hmm. First spot of Titikin in danger of dropping her first shot of this championship. And that is the first bogey on the scorecard. She's got a, a good 30 yards to play with in terms of width. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. interesting. I mean, I always look at that and I think, well, there's 20 yards there. You might not be able to carry it and thread it up through that yeah. needle. With feet. Does have a, temp, a habit of going from right to left for the shot, so we'll take this down the right hand side. And also, not able to get any kind of control. And always seems interested. 
absolutely right. That third shot on the way for uh, Ataya Titikin. For the second nine under par and in a tie for the lead. Yesterday and today has walked away with. And it feels like about 10 feet. Well, who would have thought? The faltering at the moment, and most importantly, lost that momentum that she's carried so beautifully so far in this BMW Ladies Championship. Yeah, I mean, this is all about character. It's just about forgetting the last hole. Brilliant. Great response. Double bogey. Bo <laughs> and those uh, increased revolutions have paid off there. It's a three for Atia Titikin. And that's a good bounce back. Good rickiest holes out there this week. Yeah, definitely. In that pin position today. The players will be licking their lips. Looking to think if they can get a good drive away. Probably only got. Longer hitters only got six, seven iron in, maybe. This is a par four for her. Walking after it. And for good reason, too. That is a great iron in close on 15. It's high enough. It needs to move right. And it does. What a three. Birdie Eagle to negate the bogey, double bogey that she saw at the top. It takes some mental fortitude to bounce back and bounce back that quickly. Granted, uh, they're afforded the opportunity with the, the layout of the golf course. Driver in hand. She's about 75% in terms of accuracy to here today. 79 now. <laughs> no, that's, a, that's a great shot. To the court, par four, up the hill. Bang on line. In the slipstream. Proud indeed. Thirty-one on. If you split the difference between the seventeen and the pin, it will release down and to the left. That is left for a tie, Titikin. And it's soft to try and get close for Titikin. Fabulous. Okay. How about that for an up and down? If they don't get a lot better. slightly uphill for the first part and then it's a mountain for the second part <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, she's given that a bit of well with the second Titicum. hours before we get there getting some spin and she does what a classy wedge in from can place all by herself at the halfway mark. Hmm. Well, you hope that's not a, a theme that continues into the weekend. 